How's it going, guys? I have a bit of explaining to do. I was gone for a while, unannounced. I just took off. Uh, I really wanted to explain where I was going, but I didn't have the time, and so let me explain. So about a week ago, I mean, a week ago, I still hadn't uploaded a video in three or four days. <laughs> and that was just due to me being busy in January. Uh, my girlfriend's birthday was then, then my girlfriend's dad's birthday, and a friend of mine came to visit me. Because in January, people have a lot of time off work in Korea. People that I know, teachers, because it's break time. And so people will visit me or I'll, I'll go see them. So for three or four days, I was just doing my own thing. I was kind of busy. And uh, yeah, I was spending time with friends and family. You know, that's really important in my life anyways. I, I need to spend time with my friends. It's important to show the ones you love that you care about them. I felt a little bit bad for that, though, because I was gone for three or four days. But then something else happened, something terrible. Um, I, I got a call from my mom and she said my grandpa was in the hospital and, uh, my grandpa lives near Seattle, lives in a small city called Carnation. That's really far away from where I am. I, I live in Korea. A lot of you guys know I live in South Korea and his condition wasn't good. He was suffering from kidney failure and the doctor said he wasn't going to recover, but at the time they said he had about a month left to live a month or two around there. Um, but I was still really worried. And so I arranged with my mom and my brother to meet them in Vancouver. And I bought a plane ticket and I immediately just went out the door, took a bus to the airport and got on a plane all the way to Vancouver. We drove down to Seattle. I've never actually done that before where I've had to buy a plane ticket across the sea and literally leave my house within minutes. That is something that is, that is completely new to me, but I'm very glad I did it. And the reason is, is we got there and his condition was terrible. Um, he was still awake. He had told the doctors that he didn't want to take any morphine until his family arrived. Um, because once he took the morphine, he could possibly just never wake up. It would help him alleviate the pain, but he might not wake up from it. And so... He waited for us to get there. We got a nice two hours in to talk with him. And then over the course of the night, I watched him, you know, he went to sleep after the morphine and I watched him slowly uh, pass away over time. And in the morning, he finally died. It was really hard. My grandpa was, he's a huge inspiration in my life. Uh, he, he's an amazing person. He, his life was so full. And when I look at someone I want to be like, he's the person in my life that I want to be like the most. Not not necessarily copying exactly what he did, but taking his morals and his ethics with me while I go and pursue my own dreams. Uh, he's always involved in the community. He, he was always doing stuff. He was always taking care of family. He, he was an amazing guy. And while I was in the hospital there, there were a lot of people that were in and out. And when I was staying at his home afterwards for the week after, there were a lot of people that were in and out, you know, talking about the lives that he touched and uh, how much he made a difference in, in the community or or in, at his workplace, you know, whatever he did. It was a really hard thing for me to do, but I'm glad that I did it. And uh, I do apologize that I just left without a word. Uh, there was just no time. I got my camera equipment set up and I was like, I should make a video before I go, just a quick one. But I couldn't. There was like 10 minutes left until I had to go. So I just quickly like, you know, I just quickly pieced out and said, I'll just make a video when I get back. So yeah, seeing him off was pretty hard because he was just always a rock that kept the family together. You know, I find that a lot of the people that would keep in touch with each other, would keep in touch just because he was there and he was the line of communication that we used because uh, he he was like that. He, he, he cared about every single family member very deeply, no matter what position they had in the family or what they had done. He, he always, he was always there for everyone and especially us as his grandchildren. Like me and my brother are his only grandchildren he had two daughters, uh, one my mom, and one of them is my aunt that chose not to have children. And so we were very special to him. I remember I was going through uh, his stuff 
we, we were going, he has a big house. We were going through all of his stuff when we were staying there. And he had this box on top of his dresser, special box, where he kept his valuables. So, opened it and I, I, I took a look inside. And lo and behold, I, I have it right here. I took it with me. I found this picture that I had drawn in pristine condition, this little Garfield picture right here. I drew it when I was in the second grade. And it says Grandpa Fred with Grandpa spelled wrong <laughs> on it. And I drew this for him. And this would be in tatters in most other people's care. I drew this when I was in grade two. That was a long time ago. Oh, it's over 20 years ago. Yeah, it's probably like 21 years ago or something like that. And, uh, and yeah, it was just in perfect condition in his valuables box on top of his dresser. And that's, that's just the kind of person he was, you know? He really cared about us, and I, I hope I didn't take him for granted in my life. I really hope I didn't, but I like to think that, you know, I was a good grandson to him. I think the hardest thing of his passing was that he he was always so healthy in his life. And even last summer when I visited Canada, when my dad's health was going bad, uh, uh, you know, he, he was pretty healthy. And we went out, we did a, a full round of golf. He loved playing golf. Did an 18 hole, which took a long time. It was like four or five hours out in a golf course. And he, he was fine. He was a little tired after, but but he was fine. And so this kidney failure came on so suddenly because we always thought that he was going to be one of those people that lived to over 100, you know. Even though he didn't live to over 100, man, those 89 years, they were packed full of life. Oh my god, even when he retired, he was the mayor of Carnation for a while, the small little city he lived in. He taught at an elementary school just because he wanted to help children. He taught them math. He was an aeronautics engineer, and he just, I don't know, he just liked to help out. And he had a, he had a sense of pride in the place that he was at and his family and in everything. And I think I want to take after him a little more. I want to do that as well. And I guess going forward on YouTube, I'm going to try my best to be a better version of myself that I was. And, and also give back to the community more, more charity live streams and stuff like that, you know, more events, um, because I, I know I can be better. I know I can be. I'm back on YouTube from now on, from this video forward, I'm, I'm back home with some renewed vigor. If there's one thing you can take from this video, outside of me just, you know, letting you know that I'm gone, I was gone, uh, first of all, I mean, this one's going to be kind of obvious, but... Your family and friends are really important. If something comes up or they're in trouble or something, you know, give them some time. Life still goes on. You can drop whatever you're doing to help your friends or family or, or see them in a time of crisis. Some people aren't fortunate enough to have a good family. You know, maybe family has abandoned them, in which case it's, it's your friends, right, that you should give attention to because they're the ones that love you. And they're the ones that will be there for you. Um, but the people you care about in your life, you know, make sure to make sure to be there for them is all. I'm really glad, you know, my grandpa was always there for me. And uh, in his final moments, I'm glad I was able to be there for him and just be able to make it in time to talk to him so he could go in peace. Another thing, this is something that my grandpa taught to me that I want to teach to you guys. It's. Find your own path in life, like find what's going to make you happy, work damn hard for it, and you're going you're gonna to be so proud of yourself. He taught me how to be proud of myself because he had a very fulfilled life, um, but he said, don't do exactly what I've done. You know, what's the point in just copying that? He said, find out what you want to do, but then go at that with the amount of enthusiasm that I went at in my own life. You know, he was never judgmental of what anyone did. You know, he'd never be like, oh, that's a stupid dream. He'd be like, no. He's like, if you worked hard towards your dream, you should be proud of yourself. Right? And uh, he always taught that, right? Told him I was a YouTuber, and he went, that's so cool. You should be so proud of yourself for making that work. So, yeah. Be proud of yourself. If you're following your dream and you're, you're working hard towards that, 
then do it. And a dream can be anything, by the way. I'm not just saying like, oh, you, your dream should be should be to go to art school. It's like, if that's your dream, then then go for it. If your dream is to have a family and work to provide for that family and that's that's what you want to do, then do that. Do that. Work towards that dream, you know? Dreams come in all different shapes and sizes, so yeah. If you're doing if you're doing what you want, be proud of yourself. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I'm back and I'm excited to be back. I'm really excited to be making some videos. Uh, that super expert I recorded earlier today on stream, I'm going to be editing it right after this, should be up in a few hours. It was really exciting. <laughs> it was really fun to be back. We got a really crazy super expert. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.